Welcome to the Blob 2. I have played this game on the Wii and finished it. I don't know if I would have considered perfecting it on the Wii. Um, definitely perfected the shit out of the first one. Like, really did get everything in the first one. And then I realized, wait, this game's on 360 as well. So I uh, got it for the 360 and now have achievements to work on. I played a little bit of it, but never played a lot. And was able to... Uh, actually skip this yes I can uh, I was able to get a lot of stuff done but more along the lines of actual missions as opposed to other stuff so we're gonna go back and finish playing the first level where I'm missing a couple of uh, the light bulbs and I think they're the billboards whatever they are two of the main collectibles I'm missing um, so we're going to try to get those while we play through the first level and go from there. We're going to try to S rank everything. S ranking in this game does not require getting absolutely everything. It requires reaching a certain point value, which obviously if you collect everything, you'll get there. But you don't have to. You can just repaint stuff for points. So like I currently have, uh, let's see, mini tutorial, yes, camera. Yeah, yeah, we're good. All right. If I touch this, it didn't give me any points. Um, won't show you my point value. Well, soon you'll see. Let me collect all the. All right. I have to collect all these first. So the basic premise of this game is everything is all black and grayed out from the baddies, and we're all colorful, and we're a giant sack of ink. And well, not ink. No, ink is bad. We're a giant sack of paint. And we want to get rid of the ink by coloring everything. Our biggest priority is going to be to get all of the... You have to hear this, what I was saying about the ink. Get all of those red question marks taken care of. And then once we get all of the question marks done, then we'll have free timer to do whatever we want and finish everything else up. But for now, we're just going to try to S rank stuff and complete all the missions. So basically, like I was saying, the basic premise of this game is to color stuff. You want to get rid of all the ink and all of the gray stuff and make the world colorful again because the bad guys got rid of all the color in the world. It's actually a really good story, like really original, clever. Um, so like the missions throughout will be pretty repetitive it's just really clever level design helps uh keep the game fresh and energetic oh shit so they're like i touched the ink which made me bad so i have to go touch water to be able to actually get color again um that one just hurt me the longer i sit in the ink the more it hurts if i go and like touch the building it'll turn to black which will then make it go back to gray and i have to repaint it um but you definitely move faster when you're smaller but that also means you have less you know hit points from enemies and you can soak up less shit not soak up um touch less shit because like every time i touch something to die it like that i went from 100 to 99 so let's just keep going some of these missions and going through so um so here it's telling you what one of the collectibles are styles there is i believe different amount of styles in each level. i don't know if it's 10 for each or something but um it's like a good amount you need to collect Keep in mind, this is like basically showing you a little bit of everything, and all the future missions will have so much more than just these. They'll have the same premise, but more than just this. You won't do one to two missions, and then all of a sudden be like, oh, hey, look, you're done with this area type of thing. Um, I'm sure the game's going to tell me right here, but these are like the little people of the universe. They don't cost anything to paint, and every time you get a certain amount of them, you'll uh, get a timer to extend your time in the world. I got two groups, so here we go. So now you can see how there's three different colored buildings I have to do. So let me actually get these real quick. Oh, this is taking me somewhere. All right, that's fine. Oh, I need purple. All right, so I'm gonna paint these purple real quick. So then you can see them flashing so you know what you have to paint what. It's not just a certain, any building a certain color. You have to paint a certain building a certain color. 
if it shows it as white then that means you can paint it any color you just have to paint it when you finish a certain like block of uh buildings essentially you'll release more people um that's just gonna be a mechanic throughout the game where is green oh i'm having my compass i'm blind wow it was right next to the red building shit all right so we just want to get all these uh it's gonna finish up and here say yep good job people got released we'll grab the style for points and we're just gonna paint these guys up for points oh that's actually the mission right now And I got more time. So, the 35 minute timer is a ridiculously high timer. Um, which is one of the collectibles, but I already got it, so it replaced it with just a regular old point value piece. Paint those little guys go up to here. And enemies can do anywhere from... Oh, boy, there's a lot of trees I gotta do. No shit. That hurt. So every time I'm in here, I'm gonna lose one for each second. Uh, but at least there's water here. And there's more trees here. Meant to do that all along. Which seems like a ridiculously high number when I'm pretty far into the level and I'm at 200. Um, but in the end, it really will be an achievable number. So, like, that's a charge attack, which breaks down walls and can do some um, crates that we'll find later and other, like, statues that get, uh, get us points. However, something to keep in mind is that. Oh, almost lost my color there. Hey, I forgot about you earlier. Uh, something to keep in mind is that... Don't know what else is to be kept in mind. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to need 700 points for this, and that seems like a high number, but we will be in the next area where there will be a lot to do. Like, a lot, a lot to do. If anything's ever white when you need to do it, that means that it's uh, neutral. You can be any color. But stuff like this, like I have to be red to do these switches. I don't know if painting the ground is going to give me points there, but I do it just to be safe. So I have one purple switch I need to do, which I'll go through this purple um, waterfall-ish sprayer. Go up here. I don't know. No. no points. One thing I always do just to be safe is touch all the stuff to help get points. Uh, get all the stuff around it. Because you never know when you're in an area and you do an activity. Whether it's going to send you back or not. And that's no fun. Alright. So. Came on out. See like if I missed any of the stuff in there I wouldn't have been able to get it. So this is where I could do upgrades but I don't. Well, actually, I do have enough light bulbs because I'm replaying this level. It's going to soak up because I need ink. Fuck, I need paint. I don't know why I keep saying ink. So I have 15 more gradients I need to touch, and I have five buildings I need to paint any color. But at least these guys count towards the uh, a full amount of gradients that need to be painted overall. That's a step in the right direction. Shit. I can't paint anything right now. Um, I can still pick shit up. 
All right, let's go get more color. That's what I get for trying to do everything while I'm doing missions. So as you do this mission, it would send you this direction, but I'm just going to do it backwards now. Oh. Glad I went and did this backwards because I got another one of these. No, no. Fuck nuggets. All right, okay, there's red over here. I went all the way over there because I didn't realize there was red right here. God damn it. Oh, well. I did stuff that I would need to do anyway. I'm going to paint the rest of this. Release some gradients. Release the gradients over here. We still got a lot to do left in this zone, and we are almost at 300,000, so that's good. Um, I believe we'll get a good amount for, like, getting the last tower in here. Um, let's see over here if there's anything else. No, I just came from over there. So one thing I did the first time I played through here was I broke everything. Like, oh, let me just break through everything because I want to. Yeah, there's a power-up right here that basically lets you charge through everything unlimited times. And just puts the stuff back anyway. You literally can just do this the whole time and not waste 80 ink every time you dash. This is going to blast the whole ground and a lot of the stuff that doesn't count towards points. So now I get to go do uh, a bunch of all the bonus challenges to get a bunch of points, which are going to be like paint buildings, paint trees, paint billboards, which I completely whiffed. Oh, can I? Yeah, I'll jump up here. Need another billboard down. Oh, let's see our progress. So I need, but I need three more uh, light bulbs. If I can get three more styles, that'd be nice. Um, and then just finish up all the other missions, which will have me do the top three. Look at that tree. Alright, gotta go paint 18 buildings. Oh wow, okay, I missed that entire island over there. That's good and bad. That's bad that I missed those and I was that blind, but that's good because it's gonna give me a bunch of points and a bunch of gradients released. Start with the ship and work our way around. This was ink earlier, so at least now that I fell in, I knew I was gonna do that. But at least I can get this here. I knew I was going to fucking fall in again. Only complaint I have to say is that the camera... one more building Don't slam on this thank you we point from that crate there are a lot of one-off buildings that I seem to have missed oh it's just this pillar maybe that's why gradients didn't come out earlier I'm not gonna find out now but is there any doubt oh I've done everything that's good and bad um, I swear it was 7,000 for this okay no so it's gonna tell me where there are trees there are gradients and crates so that will give me a lot of points We haven't done much brown. Let me touch the tree. There we go. I think I've painted. Oh, nope. There we go. There's all the gradients. There are gold on gradients because it means I got everyone. Um, there's nothing this way. So let's go look for trees and crates to smash. With these two. All right. So there's all the crates. Now we got his trees left. Alright, there's gold for trees. So, but you know what, let's just move on. If I S-rank here, awesome. If not, then I'm not too worried. I can come back and try to S-rank later. See how many points we get from in here. Let's go in. Finish off this level. Need one blue switch. Oh, this is going to be a charge attack, though. I 
could go back and absorb some more, but let's just keep going. Finish this level up strong. By strong, I mean quickly. Um, I need to do one red, one blue. I probably should have done the blue first. Well, it doesn't matter. That's fine. Pick that up. Squirt a little bit in there. All right. Now everything turned purple. That's funny. So I can run through these. They don't kill me. If I touch them, they just hurt. If I go through with the laser like that, it's hurt a lot. For the sake of time, it really doesn't matter, especially when we know we're going to have some big globs like this to soak up. Totally worth it. Let's soak up some more color. Scoot up this way. Oh, okay, so the switch is there, which means the green's going to be this way. And it's going to be a green pool, so it won't hurt too much. If this costs 10. Yeah, it costs 1 to smash, so that's fine. One last blast of orange. That'd be orange up here. Yeah, big old orange pool. Oh boy. Well, I played myself. Soak up that orange. Repaint some of the green ground as we scoot our way over to these. There we go. And just gotta smash that. Perfect. See how many points that gives us since that puts us close enough to what we need to focus on in the future. Beautifully colored downtown. Get into that cannon and blast off to the next zone. Skidoosh. We're getting a lot of bonus points for the challenges and the gold. So 500,000 is B. Style bonuses gave us some more. Oh, we did it. Wow, okay, I really wasn't expecting to do that well. I'm glad. Holy shit, we got an S rank on that first level. Join me next time while we do downtown as we try to S rank that and find as many collectibles as possible. As we work our way through the 11 levels in this game. One down, 10 to go. Until next time, stay awesome.